Hello everyone, this is Nikki. Thank you for joining me for Love Letter Tarot. This channel has been going through a lot of changes lately over the past year or so, but I'm trying to change the direction, the trajectory of where I want this channel to go. So it's right now it's going to be a love channel. Nothing but love readings. I'll take what you need and leave the rest. This is a collective reading. It is timeless. So whenever you see it, I hope you're able to resonate with the message. And this is going to be your next relationship collective. Your next relationship. Oh, getting to know each other. Maybe you're getting to know someone soon. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. Okay. This is saying a brand new person coming into your life. Brand new. You're getting to know each other. What's your name? Cynthia, what's your name? Michael. Okay. Uh, getting to know each other and talking to each other. Trust. Go into the relationship collective trusting this person. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. While you sit down and get to know each other, having heart to heart conversations is going to open both of you all up to discuss your feelings, you know, uh, to open up to trust. If you get to know this person um, without it being something sexual, like right away, then everything's going to be okay. Okay. Because you all have to build up trust to be with one another because you've been through some hard time, times uh, with people that you've been in a relationship with. So this person is going to open you up to a new way of love, a new way of, of trust, going to go into the relationship already keeping an open mind like that. I need to trust more. Okay. Uh, some of you have been hurt from an ex. You have to release this person. Maybe you're done with this person, okay? But this person, you still have feelings for this person. You have yet to heal completely from this person and it's time. It's time for you to just let it go. Let it go. Let it go, okay? And because you have true love coming your way. This is the romance of a lifetime. Open up, be, be happy. Like you got somebody beautiful coming into your life, but you got to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're being guided to take. Uh, let this person come in and, and simply give you a kiss on the cheek. Hey, how you doing, sweetie? Just kissing a light kiss on your cheek or a kiss on your forehead. You know, like that's somebody who really cares. They're going to, they're not going to want to right away give you a kiss on the lips, though that could be a good thing, you know. But you know, this person is new. This person is different. This person is here for you. You know, they want to get to know you. They may be a little bit taller than you. You know, maybe you like tall guys or, or tall women. Okay. Um, but some of you all are used to talking out or, or spilling your guts, to, not really spilling your guts. You know, you don't want to start a relationship like that, but it's hard for you to open up to people, but it's going to be so easy for this person to speak to. I'm hearing Starla, the name Starla or Starlet, but this person's going to be so easy to talk to. Okay. So easy. But you got to release your ex. The time has come for you to clear that energy. You didn't, you don't, it's like because of what this person did to you, your ex, it's going to be hard for you to open up to other people. But this person is your soulmate. You're calling him or her into your life. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. You're, you're summoning him and he's summoning you, vice versa. Okay. You're calling in your soulmate here after you had a screwed up up situation with this ex it's hard for you to let that ex go overall energy on your next relationship virgo i'm sorry you saying virgo <laughs> open up to your next relationship collective and we have your chemistry i don't have some dynamic chemistry for you up between the two of you there's a strong magnetic attraction here like, wow, I can't believe we compliment each other. If this energy feels so good to be just to be around you feels really good. It's like, wow, I, you, just the aura, the energy that you're putting out, it feels divine. OK. It feels heavenly. Separate. OK. You separated yourself from this ex. bottom of the deck. We have here deception. He or she was was full of deception. And you don't need that in your life. It's time for you to let that energy go. It's over with. It was hard for you to separate yourself. Don't go nowhere. I love you. Uh, please come back. What did I do? Can I change this? Can I do that? Can I do that? Nope. Wasn't meant to be into your. Wasn't meant to be in your life in the long run. So you got to let that go. Okay. You deserve better. It's just that simple. Your next relationship collective. Incidentally, if you're a Virgo. Um, I do have a separate channel for Virgos. It's called the Earthly Virgo. 
messages for the collective, your next relationship. Ooh, we got the devil here. Why is the devil here? Okay. Secrets. Don't go into this relationship thinking that this person is like that person from your past. Please don't. This person is like the polar opposite of what you were used to. So this person you were with probably was very, very deceptive to you, lied to you, cheated on you or whatever, you know, secrets. They kept secrets from you, but don't don't taint this relationship because this is going to be something beautiful, something good for you. It could be a same sex relationship as well. Not for all. OK, so this person's going to compliment you very well. Um, they're going to show you things you've never seen or never experienced before. It doesn't have to be a same sex relationship. Did I say that already? <laughs> So, but you definitely are, are still in the process of healing. So it's going to be hard for you to trust coming into this reading for you, coming into this relationship, having heart to heart conversations, getting to know each other, talk, communication. Don't go to sleep mad with each other. I didn't say angry. Don't go to sleep mad at each other. I think there's a difference. Your next relationship for the collective. Ten of Pentacles. It's going to be something amazing for you. Beautiful. But you got to let this past person go. Okay. You may share a child with this ex, but this could be energy of saying this person could be coming into, into this relationship with you have already have like a toddler. <clears throat> Maybe you have a toddler, <clears throat> excuse me as well. But uh, this is a person who's very family oriented. They're going to fit well into your groove. They're going to, they're going to get, a, get along well with your kid, with, with your kids, with your children, with your child. They're going to fit in perfectly like, like they were meant to be there. They were. They were meant to be there. They are meant to be in your life. You just got to let this person in, okay? Get to know each other, uh, but don't be so mean, <laughs> you know? Open up. Be approachable. And I, not not necessarily don't be mean, but be approachable. Uh, get to, Be willing to get to know him, okay? Be willing to get to know her, Okay? Your next relationship. The King of Cups. He's going to love you. She's going to love you. They may even be a little bit older. Nothing wrong with that. For some of you, they may be a lot older, but they're going to see you coming. They're like hot diggity dog. That person looks fine to me. And we're going to, we're going to, they're going to, it's like, I don't know. I feel like they're going to want to work at this relationship. They're going to finally want to work at something that that's, that's meaningful to them. You know, I love you. I care about you, but don't hold this person away. Like you don't want to hear what they have to say. They just want to get to know you. They want to work on a good relationship, a relationship that's going to stand the test of time. This person's going to see you coming. You could be walking in the park. Walking in the store, and they're like, "Wow, who is that? Ooh, e, like, ooh, e, she's killing me. She's fine, you know. They're going to be very interesting. Probably like to take a lot of trips, a lot of vacations, but they want you to be a part of their lives. Somebody could have a handicapped animal. Maybe they could have a handicapped animal. Love working. Love." Love animals, have a love for animals, maybe volunteer at the Humane Society or something like that. Living in New York, living a carefree lifestyle, wanting to bring you into their life. But you may you may you know you may you may try to put a stop to it, okay? You've already left that relationship behind. Don't be bitter, okay. Of, because of the past relationship. That relationship wasn't meant for you to be in it. If that person left you, if that person ghosted you, let them go. They're not worth it anymore. No more crying over spilled milk. You can do better. You can do better. So don't stop the good man. Don't stop the good woman from coming into your life collective. It's your next relationship. Don't fuck it up. All right? <laughs> Virgo. I'm sorry. I keep saying Virgo. Your next relationship. Open up. Ooh, we got the emperor. So you got somebody, somebody who's definitely coming into your life, a stand up kind of person, a male or female, a person who, who's searching for a person like you. And when they see you, they're going to know, wow, that's who I want. I want to get to know you more. I want to get, maybe I like to play chess. Maybe you like to play, play chess. You all will kind of click right there, you know, because you all have a lot of things in common. I'm hearing that song by my by um 
Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston. We've got something in common. You have something in common with this person. I'm going to put that song in the comment section. We got something in common. Ten of Wands, you know. So, you, listen, I see you going into a connection or meeting somebody, but when when, when you meet this person, automatically you're going to have your, your walls up because you had a lot going on with this person. Like, what the fuck? I ain't got time for no relationship. Yeah, you do. You got to get to know this person. Somebody's favorite color is yellow. You got to get to know each other. Okay. Allow him to come into your life or her and get to know this person. You're going to already come into a relationship with a lot going on, but that's okay. This person just better make it better for you, make you feel a little bit better just by talking. You know, you know, and there's no, there's no, um, there's no wrong. What is it? I mean, it's, it's it's a good thing to get to know somebody, but you you're still struggling with a past relationship, probably arguing with your kid's father and everything. But that's not him. That's not her. Get to know this man. Get to know this woman. You you're gonna be missing out on some stuff. You're gonna be missing out on the one, okay? Because of a breakup. And we got the six of pentacles and we got the page of pentacles. You you toggling back and forth possibly for child support or wanting this person to help with the child, child but it's over with. And it's time for you to move on with your love life and meet somebody new because you deserve it. You deserve this rebirth. Out with the old and in with the new. A brand new man, a brand new woman. But it honestly, it starts with communication. When you talk to this person, you're going to meet this person. You're going to understand like, wow, that's exactly what I've been looking for. Your next relationship. Collective, your next relationship. And we have your forgiveness. You got to forgive. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too short to, to waste precious time. Okay. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Forgive this person and start your new beginning in love. But it starts with communication. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately, collective. This person's going to be the one for you. Don't fuck it up by, by pushing them away. They only want to come and get to know you better. Not getting to know you better, putting trust into a good connection that you're going to be um, like interested in what they have to say and vice versa. That's going to open you up to a beautiful connection. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Allow this person to love you. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. He or she is here, but don't push him away. He or she is here, but don't push him away. <laughs> 